Okay, so in this video, we're going to uh, go over myofascial release for the thoracic inlet. So in terms of our contacts, they're gonna be very similar uh, to when we uh, were appreciating uh, rotation preference for the thoracic inlet. We're gonna make our contacts with our um, middle and um, ring fingers um, anteriorly or anterior to the clavicle. Our index fingers are gonna be behind the clavicle. And then our thumbs are gonna kind of drift uh, posteriorly near rib one, rib two, and uh, the scapula. Um, once we've made that contact, we're going to be using those landmarks uh, to change tension in the fascia across the thoracic inlet. So one direction of motion that we can um, induce is rotation, then translation, and also flexion extension. So kind of bringing the entire thoracic inlet into flexion and then bringing it posteriorly. Now I know on, on camera it appears that my fingers are kind of digging in, um, but that's not actually what's happening. I'm just making kind of firm but gentle contact on the landmark so that I can manipulate the fascia underneath. And remember, my intention is on the fascial tension uh, deep within the thoracic inlet. Okay, so here we are. And evaluating each of the ranges of motion, I find that there's a ease of motion in rotation to the left, an ease of motion in translation to the right, and an ease of motion in flexion. So I'm gonna use indirect principles of myofascial release to treat this, which means I'm gonna rotate to the left, translate to the right, and also induce a little bit more flexion. And I'm gonna hold there now um, until I begin to feel uh, some kind of tissue texture changes and um, tissue release. Also might feel changes in the tension, uh, changes in circulation. And after I feel that tension change, then I can return that thoracic inlet to neutral and then reassess by different ranges of motion. And I do feel in several other ranges of motion, specifically flexion, extension, and translation, that that, that um, motion has improved. 